everybody. Hello there, everybody. Hello there, everybody. Hello there, everybody.
everybody. Hello there, everybody. Hello there, everybody. Hello there, everybody.
Hello there, everybody. Hello there everybody, welcome to the Mystic Tavern, the only place that can't wait for his after five tea with his favourite skeleton. <laughs> there we are. Skeleton for yes, the Halloween uh, month. So, I will do something each time. <laughs> so last session, our party attempted to escape uh, Tiamat's altar being chased by a dragon an angered Tor uh not Toragar, an angered Krull who attempted to who was attempting to kill the party to erase any evidence of his betrayal of Arkan. And a Chimera who just joined in for the lols. Um so yes, uh, our party fought these foes as they travelled across the plains in their infernal war machines. Until uh, eventually uh, the enemies managed to bring them to a halt. The dragon flying up into the air with Sneak and dropping her along. Uh, truffles flew up to try and save her. But unfortunately was not able to, to catch the falling Sneak. In her desperation, Sneak made a plea to Glazia using her wish. Uh, to not let any of the party die. Glazia agreed, and now Sneak's pact has been cemented. Uh, Truffles attempted to transform into her mammoth form, managing it to attempt to save Sneak, but was still not able to get underneath her. Sneak crashed into the ground and a sickening crunch was heard as the tiefling's body hit the floor mangled and torn even her skunk Rufus was not undamaged her tail broken the party looks on in horror with no time to react as the black dragon swoops down once more and that is where we'll begin tonight's session so I have the initiative from last time. So we'll be beginning at the top of the round, as I believe we finished the round last time. Uh, so at the top of the round is Magnus. I'm trying to think of what I have left. Uh, am I close enough to use my swords or not? Um. I so I where where That's yeah where was thing. Magnus last time? I think you were on the she, Infernal War Machine, weren't you? She you drive like, yeah. I think you were using the harpoon launcher, weren't you, to try and hit the um try and hit the dragon. Oh nice. Could I do that again? Sure. We'll say if you were not on the war machine or you were at the helm, you could come off that, go to the harpoon uh, launcher. Uh, sorry. Use it. Magnus is always at the helm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's <laughs> um, my favourite place. All right, to be so in. that is a. Uh, we'll say the dragon is currently hovering about twenty foot above the war machine. Okay. Um, like the bottom of it is twenty foot. Obviously, it's a large creature, so it takes up like ten foot. So some of it's thirty foot away, and some of it's twenty foot away. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, it is a plus seven to hit. If you would like to roll a d twenty in order to. Yes, please. Twenty-six. Fucking yes. Yeah. Twenty-six hits the dragon. That's a crit. Hooray. That's a crit for Is Magnus. It? What, even if I'm not using a sword? Yep. 
What? Yep. Oh, what kind of damage does the harpoon thingy do? Yeah. Uh, so it's 2d8 plus 2. But uh, so plus if it were one two. dice you were rolling, you would add a maximum of that dice. So because plus it's multiple dice. Eight. No, no, this is where no. I'm just explaining. So just, if it were uh, one dice, you could just add one extra maximum of that dice. But because it's multiple dice, I roll it as you just double that because it's multiple rolls. Oh. Wow, really? So, oh, yep, okay. That's how I do it. Good, great. So I've always done that's it. That's a big number. Okay. So I hope this is 2d8 okay. and double it. 2d8 two, two <laughs> plus 2. Plus your strength. Uh, no, it's just plus two because mm. it uses the uh, the war machine stats. Oh. Okay. What are those plus four up there? Pew pew. Oh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> so would that be 16? Yep. Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, so you do 16 damage to 16 the dragon. 16 damage. Um, pew pew. Does it have resistance to, to non magical shit? Hmm, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it takes 16 damage. And uh, is that all you want to do on your turn, Maggie boy? Yeah, I'll stay at the helm. Magnus Gillenhall. Why, thank you. Uh, Alright, next up is Adult Black Dragon. Oh no. Oh, gross. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's let's say it needs to recharge its breath attack because I can't remember if it had it or not. That was the first D&D monster I ever met, ever. What, a black dragon? An adult black dragon, yeah. Not to fight, just to... Oh, yeah. yeah remember? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. It was pretty right. cool. Its neck is not glowing, but... It's going to fly down. Oh, no. Yes. Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Quick, turn the wind <laughs> screen wipers on. Pathetically spraying bug spray into the air like, no. How close? <laughs> uh, it's going to fly down right on top of the war machine and it's going to attempt to claw Magnus. No, please. I'm in a lot of pain. Please don't do that. <laughs> That is a 28 to hit. <laughs> oh, that hits a lot. Uh, that is 11 slashing damage. Owie. Owie. You still up? I'm still up, yeah. I'm just in a okay. lot of pain. Right, Ooh. it's going to make another claw attack on you, but this time no. it's going to attempt to grapple you. Oh, no, please. So I'd like a... Opposing athletics check, please. Oh no! Or oh no! Athletics, whichever you would like. Okay. Um. Hmm. 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 So would that be check? Accurate at athletic sorry? Uh, I don't know. I haven't used the D and D dice roll oh, bot thing. Okay. Yeah, uh, check athletics. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. <laughs> Do you want to know the that worst bit? So Channeling it in No, I don't. Please Do you tell me you got lower. Bit? Please tell me you got lower. Please tell me you got lower. You're, I can't get lower than a one. It rolled oh. a two. <laughs> right, and but it's got and plus an it, incredible it, amount. No, no, it also has plus six. <laughs> That's so sad. That's really that funny. is so, you, so upsetting. <laughs> so you rolled the absolute. <laughs> That is so like, upsetting. The one number you could have rolled that would have oh been Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it... the dragon now has you in its claw. That is so embarrassing. No. And it's also going to... Uh, who else is on the war machine? I think it is Magnus and... Uh, uh, Ephraim and Marusa. And Marusa. Ephraim and Marusa and Magnus. And Ephraim as well. <clears throat> okay. I'm waving my face. Uh, is Marusa up currently, or is Marusa down? He's up. 
And oh now. my god, that's embarrassing. I'm like surprised. Right? Who's, who's <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing because Marusa is still, still up, but Magnus is going down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh no. Magnus is going up. Isn't it? Uh, like the little green men in the Toy Story. It's like, <laughs> ooh, the claw. <laughs> <laughs> I have been chosen. <laughs> Stranger, uh, turn the outside. Yeah, so it's going to make a... How, how's Magnus looking at the moment? Um, Monkey fresh? Uh, uh, in terms of healthiness. Oh. oh, I mean, he's not looking very well. Okay. Bloodied? Bloodied? Winded? Blo- Blo- okay, so bloodied is when you're below half health, basically. Oh, yeah, definitely. Frazzled. Okay. All right, cool. While you're in its claw, it's going to try and bite you as well. Oh. Oh, my God. It wants me so bad. So that's 22. Uh, no oh, my God. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Okay, so seven. Oh, no, please. That's 17. No, uh, please stop. No. no, please stop. <laughs> And no, please stop. Uh, so that's 23 piercing. No, you're damage. actually joking. Please don't. And please one acid words. damage. No, please. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. You can, you can stop now. No. <laughs> so 24 altogether. I am never going to forget that failed athletics check ever, ever, ever. This is so sad. 20, how Isn't many? That one, yeah. 28? 24. 24 Four. damage. 24 damage. And don't forget the 11 Oof. damage from oh, the claw attack as well. Oh, lordy. Well, I am on death saves. Okay. Well, this is a cool way to die, so I'm okay with that. And then oh, it's going to start flying way. up with the unconscious Magnus in its claw. Really? Well, that's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Hey, no. this, this, this zero so went to a badass. ten. Hell yeah! If, if, I, if I got to um, choose a way to die, this would be it. So. God, this really is a bad dragon. I'm not gonna be mad. Oh my god! No, no, no. 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 All right. Um, so Marusa and Ephraim, I would say you both get an opportunity attack if you would Please like to me. take it. Yeah. Um, Please. Can I? I love I'm, I'm close by to Magnus. Um, can yep. I slash at the dragon's claw? Yeah, you can. With my big ass sword. Mm hmm. Ah. Yes. Do opportunity attacks have to be weapons? Uh, no. I presume they can be unarmed. But they have to be an attack. They can't be a. There, there's a feat yeah, for spell casters to use a spell. spell. Yeah. Yeah, so, I think there's a feat that allows you to do it. It's not a crossbow. It is. I suppose an I'll, I'll say you could use a cantrip. You can't use a spell, but you can use a cantrip. Okay, cool. That's okay, helpful in the feat. Fair. Yes. Yeah, that's fine with me. I think the feat is you can use spells, isn't it? Or no, is, or is the you can use cantrips. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take the crossbow. It's all good. Okay, fair enough. That spells an eight hits it. An eight. Yeah. An eight does not hit. No. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's about eleven shy of what you need. Uh, what about a twenty-one? A twenty-one does hit. Yes. Cool. Damn. Are you yep. also aiming for the claw? Yeah, and that's ten damage. Ooh. Nice. Which was max damage. It's a shame these 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 this, this dragon, by the way, is not looking good at all. Like it's bleeding all over. Um and as you fire a crossbow bolt into its claw, it just kind of like recoils in pain and drops Magnus. Magnus. Oh god. Uh, he was only Magnus's. a few feet. This is kind <laughs> he was of only a few he was only a few feet above the war machine. He kind of lands on the edge of it, like his back kind of cracks on the corner of it, and then he falls Ow. over the side. Why would you do this? Can I make a reaction to try and grab him? Because I'm literally under the claw. Sure. Please, don't let my corpse Ooh. look really what, disgusting. What Actually, no, you can't, because your reaction was your attack. Mm. Sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Um, you tricked me. <laughs> Okay, what we're down to now? Up, Three people? <laughs> I made you use your reaction. Uh, so we'll say it flew 20 foot down. It's going to fly 60 foot up. Then next up is Truffles. 
can't believe Truffles it. dives head first into the ground. Like an accordion. <laughs> like an accordion. They, you just like an hold up onto clock. yourself. Um, um, so yeah, uh, so Truffles w- was attempting to save Sneak. And I think we agreed last session, or after last session, that Truffles would not have stopped. Yeah. Truffles would have kept going, trying to save Sneak to the very last second. Mm-hmm. So Sneak, Celestials who now. has currently just landed on the ground and uh, is currently broken and mangled, now has a mammoth land on them. Oh, why? Oh, God, I've got a harpoon in me as well. Fuck. It's just a piercing. It's all good. We just enjoy pain on Wednesdays. Wow. <laughs> get as hurt as possible. Oh, whoa. Yep, so Truffles um, lands on Sneak, and I think yeah, I'll probably like half the damage of Truffles, because Truffles was like actively flying rather than just falling. No, so, I should double the damage. Style. I have updated, uh, I've updated Sneak's uh, art to have one less horn. Aww. <laughs> oh, uh, it's currently loading for me. Hang on. Uh, so what did we say last time? It was like 20d6 what? for the falling damage I although did you fall let's have a look on it stream was, rolls it was this... lying. <laughs> uh, okay, that was yesterday when was last Thank time you. Was was mm. oh yeah so that would I know there are 100 and something feet up I don't know if it was 20, 200 yeah, but every go. ten foot is like, and it's cumulative, isn't it? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's me. Uh, yes, it was in fact twenty d six. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I hope they're all ones. <laughs> all right. Please, all be ones. If it's all ones, the combat should just end, and the enemy should just disappear. Like, because that's. I agree. Okay, if I roll 20d6 and every single one is a 1, then Zariel just moves out of existence. Okay, Okay. deal. Yeah, you're on. (laughs) Yes, come on. We will take. Can you roll on Discord? Roll on Discord. I'm going to roll on Discord. (laughs) Come on. Let's do this. Come on, please. Ted needs to quickly. Well, well, we've been let down, haven't we? <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, Truffles takes sixty-seven damage. Truffles is fine. Right. Truffles is fine, mate. Oh Truffles, my god. Truffles is good. The juiciest elephant. Oh yeah, you, your mammoth. That's what we wanted. You. <laughs> yeah, Truffles is fine. How much health does a mammoth have? A lot. One hundred twenty-six. Okay. Elephants um, never forget. Now, Truffles in a Hollyford form has uh, resistance to bludgeoning damage. But the mammoth doesn't do. state that, and I don't have a special Truffles mammoth stat block. Uh, well, what does it say? It's a shape change into a golden fed mammoth with feathered wings and a flying speed of 120. I'm... So, because it's, it's shape change, not polymorph. So I think they're slightly different. Let me check the shape change thing. So I don't think you've actually got the mammoth stats. I think you are just in the shape of a mammoth. Okay. Let me just look up the spell, though. Because I could be wrong. Uh, Shape change. You assume the form of a different creature for the duration. New form can be of any creature with challenge rating equal to your level or lower. Can't be, oh my god, this is a lot of text. Okay, give me a second. No, you know how I feel. I mean, what? Nothing about resistances on the thing whatsoever, but it does Mystique. say you retain your stats. Yeah. Skills and saving throws. Okay, so your statistics are replaced by the statistics of chosen creatures, so you will get the health. Uh, skill and saving throw proficiencies. Uh, I would say your resistance would probably come under the stuff that you would retain, so you can half that damage. Cool. Uh, same proficiency. Can't use but how much of a crater is made? Uh, okay, you assume the hit points and hit dice of the new form. Uh, hey, Truffles is on, on 92 hit points. <laughs> uh, 
uh, da, 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 if you revert as a result of dropping as long as the axis damage does reduce. What's Truffle's normal hit points? 36. 36. Ah. Oh. Juicy. I thought it was higher than 36. I was about to say, does that mean you have a f- over 200? <laughs> but... Okay. Bloody no. hell. Shape changes a ninth level spell. What? Yep. I can only use it to turn it on a mammoth, though, so it's not that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, yeah. See, I was thinking it was basically shit polymorph, but it's actually really fucking good polymorph. Yep. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, you're into. <laughs> 20d1 close but no cigar um yeah okay yeah Yeah, fair enough truffles is tuffles tough (laughs) uh okay i'm gonna say that does take your turn now uh you can use like you are stunned by smashing into the 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 earth you're stunned by your descent into avernus no 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 Roll credits. No. Okay, uh, so we go to Maruza. She didn't even take a quarter of Truffles' health. She's fine. Uh, right. Maruza probably, unfortunately, and heartbreakingly, hasn't seen what's happened to Sneak <laughs> because he's oh, blind God. and she's far away. <laughs> and you did have a dragon to be worrying about. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Who was trying to kidnap Magnus? How, is the dragon far enough away, or how far is it from Marisa currently? Uh, it's about sixty foot up currently. And where's Magnus gone? Magnus is over the side of the war machine, a so heaven. probably about fifteen foot away from you. Mm. And he's unconscious. Very yes. Uh. So uh, unconscious. There's really not much I can do for him without jumping off of the war machine. Yeah, don't do that. It's He's not moving. Right it's not moving. No, you stopped it, didn't you? Did we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you stopped it, and then the dragon land. You stopped it because the dragon was crashing down to earth, and you stopped it to try and make the dragon overshoot you. That's right. We did do that. Um, but it it a pretty landed good idea, on it anyway. Yeah. yeah. But it kind of, it kind of landed on the back of it rather than All on right. it properly. Oh, I will leap over the side of the, <sighs> over the side of the war machine. Uh huh. Um, and attempt to stabilize Maggie Boy. Sorry, one sec. Um, can you just roll initiative for me, please, Andy? Because I didn't, I don't have you on this initiative. Yeah, no, you don't. I, I rolled a six. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, uh, who, okay, Sneak had a six, so I'm going to put you just above Sneak. That's fair. That's where I like to be. <laughs> Always surprised by Sneak. <laughs> Don't want to react to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, so what is Marisa doing? Hopping over the edge, yeah? Yeah, uh, attempting okay. to stabilize uh, Magnus as my action. Yeah, sure, give me a medicine check. You can't have two emotional Using episodes. your healers kit. Nat 20, let's fucking go. Oh, king. You know what? With a nat 20, I'll say you're getting back up to one HP. And then, <gasps> I, and then I just oh, fucking lift him up, pick him up, sling him over my shoulder, my big dragon fucking demon shoulder. Yeah, kind of over your wing as well. And then <laughs> I just horizontally walk back up the side of the war machine <laughs> and, do that, can't you? and place Magnus back where he was exactly standing. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. That was a close one. All right. Is that Marisa's turn? Yeah, I'll call that third. Yeah, right, I'll, say, yeah I'll say that was pretty much all you could do because it would have been like a bonus action to pick him Oof. up, I think. I was like, I got a plus five in medicine, this should be all right, and then it, I'm, I'm... What, what about your healer's kit? Do you not... Uh, Maruza, you not... Maruza cannot uh, use healer's kits anymore. Okay. Because his hands are all fucked up. Oh, he's not that's used how to you want to hand shape. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Akshasa hands. It's funny, because the, the, <laughs> the dice I chose to use today are the turtle ones. 
because we're fighting a turtle. Ooh. <laughs> and it landed on the turtle. And I was like, wait, what does that nice. mean? Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next up is Kroll. Speaking of turtles. Yeah. Uh, who is over by Bam and Alan. Uh, so let me just get his stats up. If I can actually find them. Uh, but anyway, he sees Alan attempting to do a... Oh, no, you did the Akira slide earlier, didn't you? And then you picked it up and rode it over to, to where... <laughs> Did you ride? You rode the bike, didn't you, over to where Alan is? Uh, where Bam is? Yeah, I parked it in front of him. Okay, cool. You remember he did the cool uh, turn thing? The Akira yeah. slide. No, that was earlier, and he stacked it, didn't he? Yep. That's it. <laughs> Man, I'll say he pulled again. it off this time. Yeah. Uh, so he, uh, Kroll is going to look at you, Alan. And uh, he is going to blow a kiss. Sure, he'll cast that because I know <laughs> how that works. He's going to cast spiritual weapon. Oh, oh, I know that one. Mm. What's his spiritual weapon look like? He his spiritual weapon weapon. looks a bit like his. <laughs> no, it is a Cooper shell. No, oh, double you. bash special. It, it's it is a blue shell. Oh. I was hoping I'm it was first worse. place. The ninja turtle first. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's going to attempt to blue shell you. Oh, uh, that is Not with that. okay. That was cold no, for again. Bending. <laughs> That's an 11 to hit, so he does not hit you. You manage to break just in time, and the blue shell does not hit you. Uh, that was his bonus action, though. For his action, uh, he's going to run up um... the, the rest of the distance. Uh, and he is going, because I'm going to say he, was, he wasn't more than 30 foot away at this point, I don't think. Um, and he is, and he's dropped his um, cloud kill as well. And he will. So he has two bonus actions. Because no, you summon it, and then you have to attack with it. You can't attack. You can't summon it and then attack. That's true. With... There is like a round of setup, isn't there? Yeah. No, you can attack with it as you summon it. But yeah, I'm pretty casting, sure. time, casting time is one bonus action. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that yeah, you but can as, part the... Of the, as part of the action for summoning it, you can attack with it. No, it says as a bonus action, you can move it and repeat the attack. Yeah, yeah so you, you, you do it the first turns. time. Yeah. Oh, so okay. you create a floating spectral whip uh, within range. Uh, when you cast the spell, you can make a melee attack against a creature within oh. five foot of the weapon. Stupid. Uh, it's force damage equal to 1d8 plus blah blah blah. Oops. I've always thought it's the other way as well, John. <laughs> That's I, what I, was using it, I was using it last night, wasn't I? I was not there. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I yeah, guess you were. All defenseless werewolves that definitely weren't trying to kill us. Um, <laughs> they were trying to kill us, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, he's going to run on up uh, and attack you with his actual weapon, uh, which is his gnarly skull maul with the green smoke coming out of it. Looks like Adam's blasting off again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just blasting his in, nuts um, in my turn. Info. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just remind you what he <laughs> remind you all what it all looks like. Yeah, he's very cool. He's just a really attractive turtle man, right? I've got him saved yeah. if you would, would prefer me to do it. No, that's alright. I've just I've I mean you can put him on stream if you like. No. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh but yeah, he is in stream info, so you can see that with his fancy maul there. Very nice. And his cool potion vials around his belt and his gauntlet. Like, you do. He needs more pockets. Uh, but yeah, he's going to attack with that. And that is a... Oh, hang on. Uh, 26 to hit. Yep. Okay, so you... Oh, wow, okay, cool. Oh, no. Oh, sound like good words, though. 
he's going to have no kids by the end of this. Please, no. <laughs> and you thought your reverse you're toe kick was bad. Right in the cloaca. Right in it. <laughs> Right in the cloak. Oh no. He's out, he's about to be in uh, So anyway, you take 13 <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Oh my word. Don't play. From his maul. And also. <laughs> uh, eight necrotic damage. Don't play. <laughs> oh, the daddy. Yeah, exactly. So, 21 damage altogether. Helm's Fantastic. Is Alum okay? Yeah, I'm still fine. All right, he's going to stay the there, uh, holding his ground. And uh, next up is the Chimera. Uh, he's going to fly on over. Let's join the fray. Um, do 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 do. Three attacks. I feel like we just Ooh, need a couple if... extra hits on the dragon and we're good, but like, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm scared. I it's really not like looking good. Head. I have said that. Sorry. Okay, it doesn't get its fire breath back from its dragon head. Uh, so instead, it's going to make its normal attacks. So it's going to make one bite attack with its lion head on um, Alan. Head? It's got three. Shit, Hydra. <laughs> uh, that's a 14 which I don't think hits you Alan yeah no Alan. it whiffs okay cool <laughs> uh, then it's going to attack you with its ram horns on its ram head Ooh. I'm going to ram my like... 9 to hit so you... <laughs> doesn't hit either and then it's dragon-like... Uh, ram my foot on my ass. Sorry, it's lion-like front mm. claws are going to try and attack you as well. And that was a nat 20. Oh, boy. Fantastic. Imagine only hitting once. Not this guy. <laughs> uh, so <it's>, uh, <laughs> he's got three heads. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got two heads. Three heads, three attacks. I'm imagining, like, the Hydra uh, meme. You know when there's two serious faces and then one really right, good yeah. one? Yeah. 20 slashing damage from that. Yeah, except just a goofy one nice. to one serious one. Yeah. I have very little hoop left. Okay, uh, well, it's your turn. Fantastic. Right. Oh, no. uh, this isn't looking good. No. Um. Right, I mean, to be fair, healing isn't going to do nothing. So, I will... Uh, the issue is I can't kill both of them, so... Uh, do I want to... I mean, is there a way to disable both of them somehow? I have nothing. Do you, I mean... I've got nothing left. I've got, I've got nothing left. Um... Who do I want dead more? Assuming I've been here. The or the Chimera? Mm. I don't know what's worse. The Chimera. Okay. Mm. I'll keep the Chimera in its lion nads. <laughs> they, funnily enough, they're both looking exactly as healthy as each other. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm just going to kick him in the nads. They how, actually how, have exactly the same amount of health. I can only do one kick. Now, how many dicks? How many... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it has one dick, but it is a dragon dick. Scientific. <gasps> oh. Oh. It's a cock mirror. <laughs> 18. 18 hits. Fantastic. Right. Let's <laughs> uh... get this bread. Oh, yeah, baby. This is on the chimera. Yep. That's 18. 38 damage. 38? Yes, oh, welcome. <laughs> what was that? That was Inflict Wounds. Oh, wow. And it, yeah. Cool. 7 d oh, That was a good roll, too. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, it, it's looking offended <laughs> by this. Um, oh my. I guess... It's just... It just glares <laughs> at you with all three it's, heads. It's necrotic, too, so, like, his balls start to wither away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Never That's gonna have no children. Good. 
three and ten have this problem. It's okay. Right. Um, <laughs> right. Are you doing anything else? I'm trying to see if I have any bonus action stuff. Spiritual mm. Oh no, you cost. Spiritual. Yeah, I know. Which is stupid. No, I can't do any bonus actions. I'll just sit there and accept my death. No. Okay. You can get so is that the end of your there, turn? Maybe. I don't know. We finish each other's sandwiches. Finish. No. That's me done. Job done. Job done. Job's done. Hmm. All right, the dragon's going to look down uh, at the end of your turn. It's going to take one of its legendary actions, which is a perception check. So it's going to make a perception check. <gasps> Yeah, Whoa. Oh, they got a full team. That is legendary indeed. Yeah, I know, uh, right? I mean, I can't make those. It can't, so. <laughs> can't move as a legendary action, so it can't get into range to use any of its other legendary actions, which is cool, you know. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna look down and it's gonna see Kroll and the Chimera fighting Alum and Ooh. Bam, and it's gonna see that happening, and it's gonna turn around. But how does it see me? I'm unconscious. <laughs> You're standing so incredibly still <laughs> that your movements are Thanks imperceptible. You. Damn it, I yeah. thought it was like T Rexes. Um, okay, well, it sees Alum then. It doesn't see Bam with a 14 on its perception check. Uh, but it is going to face that way, and then it is over to Ephraim's turn. Dragon is 60 foot in the air, right? Yes, above the Infernal War Machine. And there's no one within any like distance around it? No. Okay, cool. Magnus was in its claw, but um, you made him drop him as he flew up. No, 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 that's fine. Um, I mean, to be honest, most of my spells are really good for like crowd control. Um, I will... It's done, it falls out of the sky. Can't stun things. I can just make it really icy in the air. <laughs> uh, I will. What color is this? Black. 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 It is a black dragon. Right. Let's firebolt this long. thing. Uh, does an eighteen hit? An eighteen does not hit. Oh, oh wow! Heck. That's not good. Oh, what the heck? I'm in danger. Oh, what the heck? I don't okay. know why you said that. It was in danger last game. Yep. Uh, right. I will, seeing that that hasn't worked, I will double check quicken spell and maybe quicken a spell. Because <laughs> I've only got two sorcery points, which is not good. Yeah. I don't suppose you have any way of giving everyone else advantage because that could be really useful. No, I don't have that kind of thing. Shit. Okay, I will quicken spell the final banishment. Give me a charisma save, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> okay. Sin and banishment. Uh, actually, save, yeah. I made an attack with my sword. So uh, minus a d4 from whatever he saves. Okay. Um, unfortunately, that was not twenty. That's twenty-eight. Oh. Minus a D four. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll, I'll take the D four off. Hang on. No, nah, it won't. It might make a difference, will it? It's now twenty-seven. It's fair. Wait. Oh no, you rocked really bad. We're good. Uh, right. That's cool. That is uh, Ephraim's turn. All right. I, I literally like... thought you were gonna like wake up and kill the dragon there. Uh, just, no, I'm... just like everyone does nothing, wakes up, kills the dragon. No, uh, sneak. It's your turn. You don't need to make death saves, but you are unconscious. Yeah. Uh, bam. Uh, what is Bam yes. doing? Am I not unconscious? Okay, skipping Bam as well. Back up to Magnus. Oh boy. Oh my God, Christ. <laughs> Pew pew. Okay, I'm gonna you use the pew harpoon pew. again. Yes. Okay. Uh, plus seven to hit. Roll me a d20. Oh, one d20. Does Magnus get two shots? 
There's multi attack. Yeah, sure, go on. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is how we ruled it last game, wasn't it? Twenty one. So hit. twenty one hits. Yes. Twenty one. One. No. Two d eight plus one? two. Oh, two d eight. Okay. Plus two. Pew. Yep. Two d eight. Eleven plus damage. Two. Eleven damage. Yes. How would you like to do this? Oh my god, no, 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 please, no, for real, seriously. Yep, that is exactly <laughs> how much health it had left. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Okay, so well, How would you like to kill this dragon with your harpoon launcher? Uh, do I have access to its chest? Like, whereabouts is it? <laughs> Are you going to bar this? Unglued. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, you, you see a scale like flapping in the wind, exposing <laughs> a weak point. <laughs> and you, um, yeah, you describe it as your kill. Yeah. Those are my friends, you heartless harpy. Urr. Yeah. Pee pee. <laughs> so you let loose the harpy. I can feel the passion. I think we should all get out of this My that. family. Leave my family alone. All right, sure, you've all got 1d6 of Bardic Inspiration. That was a joke. That was a joke. Aww. No, no, it's fine. It's an epic moment. Um, yeah. So uh, the, the harpoon flings, uh, flies through the air, whistling as the wind rustles around it. The dragon, distracted, looking over at Alum, hears it turned around, but too late, as it smacks directly into its chest, impaling yeah. itself in the dragon's heart. Dragon lets out a roar, acid gurgling in its throat as its whole body goes limp and, and begins to crash down towards the <laughs> infernal war machine. Uh oh. Beautiful. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. No, no. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> um, <laughs> It would now be its turn, uh, unless Magnus would like to do anything else. Can I you move have the rest the, of your turn? Can I, can I move the war machine out of the way? Nope, you would need an oh. action to start it up. Oh, that's true. Hmm. I don't know what else I can do. I don't think I can do anything else. You've got your movement still, if you wanted to move oh. somewhere. Have you used your second wind? Um, wait, what does second wind do? What? I think you probably would have used it, it does wind by now, right? No, Holly never uses second wind. Oh, second wind, sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking exists. action surge. Wait, what? Why isn't my mouse working? What is it? What is happening? Oh, all right, it was a while ago you got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get it at level one. Level <laughs> <two>. <laughs> no, it's level, level one. one. It's level one. Oh. Yeah, action surge. That was a while ago. I have not used it. I don't it. think you were ever level one. You can mm -hmm. use a bonus action to regain 1d10 plus 9. That's a big number. What the <laughs> heck? Can I do that? Yeah. yeah, go for it. You've still got your bonus. That's what it's there for. 1d10 plus 9. Wow. <laughs> Watch it be a 1. I don't care. 9 I is great. I could just see Magnus looking over to everyone. It's like, wow, I healed myself, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Magic is weird. Yes, nineteen. <laughs> the man went from literally on death saves to twenty HP in one fucking sw fell swoop. I was so pumped after destroying a dragon. That's, well, that's 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 very in character. Well, okay, I like no, no. That. What I did was I opened a jar after literally everybody loosened it for me. That's all I did. Yeah, but we made you look good. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I can put that on here now. Seven subs, everybody. Excellent. Another sub. Didn't tell me who sub, but uh. Um, no comment. Almost at the goal. Always the sub. Only three more. Holly, no. Nine, 19 HP. There we go. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Are you doing anything else in your turn? You moving anywhere or are you staying where you are? <laughs> 
Hmm. Do I move somewhere I'm going to be useful or move somewhere I'm going to be safe? I could just stay here. Okay. You stay there. Yeah. Um, next up is Truffles. Truffles will pull herself out of the dirt like a shit ostrich. <laughs> yeah, your, your trunk is stuck in the earth and you just like cartoon like pull it out as you pull yourself off of the unconscious sneak and look down at sneak's horrified horrifyingly broken body she yep. tries to use hang uh, on hang on let, let me get a good picture you, you is keep it yamcha that. is it fucking yamcha you're gonna <laughs> You're gonna show Yamcha, aren't you? Uh, yeah, horrifyingly broken body. She she tries to use what little magic she has left, but unfortunately, it does not seem to be coming out of her. I.e., hang on. Oh, you can't cast spells while you're mammoth. No, I've just I'm just out of them. I have none left. Oh, fair enough. Uh. And then okay, Truffles I'm gonna put in stream info what it looks like. Gonna look around for help. Uh, and then sees. That was better. Oh, Alum and uh, Bam on the floor, or Alum about to be knocked out. And just this anger rises up within the usually tiny elephant. And she flies towards the chimera. And, uh, let's see. If the mammoth moves at least 30 feet straight towards a creature and then hits it with a gore attack. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so let's try a gore attack. Does On... a 22 hit the chimera? Uh, yes, it does hit the chimera. Right, give, give me a second, because I've only got 1d8 out right now. So, Four... uh, You can fly as the mammoth as well, so I'd say yep. you could use Four, it. Yeah. Eight, six. Two. Four eight six two is twenty nice. plus seven. Twenty seven piercing damage. Uh and it makes needs to make a strength save. Okay, let me just take the damage off of it first. Uh strength save. Yep. Cool. That is a nat one. Uh or be knocked prone. If the target is prone, the mammoth can make one stomp attack against it as a bonus action. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> there ahead. is another. Oof. Uh, I don't suppose. Oh, wait, I've got advantage, haven't I? Because it's prone. Yep. Is an 18 hit? Yes. I'm just going to roll this one on Discord because I, I don't have the dice for it. And that's another 26 bludgeoning damage as she stomps clean all over its body as Adam's like ready to take another hit and just all of a sudden the thing gets propelled out the fucking way on its back and just stomped on. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that happens. Yep, yeah, that happens. Uh, Marusa. Wow, I get another turn. Uh... The dragon looks like it's about to land on the vehicle. Okay. I've got an idea. Mm. The section where Magnus shot through it, is that now, like, exposed <laughs> body stuff? No, it's just like there is a harpoon in it. It hasn't, like, mm. you know, it's like you've stuck a pin in something. It doesn't, like, expose the inner workings of it. It's just there is a harpoon in it. Okay, bear with me here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand in the middle of the war machine. You can't deflect the harpoon. I know. That's okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> I look down at the floor, uh, and I breathe my breath weapon. Yeah. To make a hole in the floor of the of the war machine of the war machine. Okay. Make me a deck save war machine that's stationary. 
Why am I getting deja vu here? Um, yeah, same, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it, it fails all deck saves while it's motionless. So that's an auto hit. Uh, 13 acid damage. As I try and melt the floor, and if there is a gap, I will usher Magnus and Ephraim into the hole. Hmm. Okay. My poor war machine. It's a creative way to get out of this situation. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm thinking about it. Uh. You. I've got to fix this. <laughs> hey, so you, you you burn a hole in kind of like the the floor of the top sort of deck of the war machine. Mm. That's the and plan. um, we'll say that luckily there is kind of like a, a smuggling storage area underneath this panel. I don't intend to get in myself, so because I'm way too big, so. Okay. Um, yeah, there's probably enough space for two people. And I will usher two back normal size humanoids and under the under the board. Uh, under All the right. Deck. I will say that you can both use your reactions to move into it if you would like to. Yeah. Why not? I'll do that. Magnus, would you like to? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you both slide in. Wait. How long <laughs> do we think it's going to take uh, for this dragon to drop? Uh, well, it w- it's going to basically hit it after Maruza's turn. Oh, yeah, I'll get in now, then. Yeah, Ready? so you slide in. No, if someone wants to... It's, it's fairly ball. freshly acided. Okay. So, uh, where is my D4? There we go. Uh, you both oh, take boy. four acid damage as you slide in. Nice. I like that. Me too. <laughs> because you are Disgusting. kind of like climbing <laughs> down into a freshly acidic bit of the Disgusting. vehicle. Disgusting. Yeah. Um, and as you see them safely in this little compartment, Marisa Marisa, looks up for just a moment. You, you look up and you just see a big dragon butt about to land on you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, kinky. We do like big dragon butts. We do, and we cannot lie. Hashtag ready for the deck save. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, okay. I'll say you can make a deck save. Cool. Uh, nineteen. Okay, I set the DC as twenty. So sorry, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, oh, Marusa. I got that Marusa has inspiration. inspiration. Yep. You do have now that bardic inspiration. Now it's twenty-three. All right, you managed to half the damage uh, as you slide. Read out evasion to me. When you're subjected to an effect that makes you roll a deck saving throw to take only half damage, you instead take no damage if you succeed on the saving throw and only half damage if you fail. Ooh. Fine. Okay. I you don't take any damage. Into that you are one. currently <laughs> pinned. You don't take any damage, but you are currently pinned by the massive body of an adult black dragon on top of the. Uh, so what was war my deck machine. save? For? I've I, seen I this just drop, drop cover and roll. No, you just managed to get under a slightly lighter part of the dragon rather than having like its whole center of gravity land. He's trying to say you're stuck in the crack. Fair enough. Right in the dragon claw arca. You're stuck. You're stuck under one of its legs. That's fine. I could probably wiggle out next turn. Probably. I hate this. Um. Okay. Next up is Kroll again. Uh, who sees this giant mammoth? Uh, crash into his chimera or the chimera. Um. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah. It's going to look at truffles. And I would like Truffles to make me a Wisdom save. No, Fair sorry, enough. Charisma save. Uh, what was it? Do I keep the Charisma? I don't remember. The mental uh, stats. Yeah, the, the sort of mind stats you keep and the physical stats you don't. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Uh, charisma save. Mm hmm. 15. 15? Yep, yeah, 9 plus 6. Okay. Um, Alum, you see the mammoth blip out of existence. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> and Truffles, you find yourself on Mount Celestia. <gasps> oh my Where's Princess Celestia? <laughs> this is like when Hercules goes home. <laughs> um, there, there's nobody around, but you kind of like you find yourself next to a pool of holy water. Uh, <coughs> there's and, some like koi carp swimming in there. Truffles looks in the holy water in in, in the pool of water. Got her reflection uh, in in. I was, I was going to say, like, animated Holy film water. style, yes. you just see your reflection, and then... Remember who you are, Truffles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see your giant mammoth reflection, and then it kind of, like, turns into normal Truffles, even though you haven't actually transformed. And then, like, a koi breaks the surface, and ripples go out, and then it's all like, ooh... Uh, I want to be banished. Oh, that's what's happened. <laughs> you were. It was banished. so much better when I was banished. Uh, uh, can I so... can I do something in Mount Celestia, or is that on my turn? Sure. Okay. Uh, it'll be on your turn. Okay. If cool. you're still there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that is his action. With his bonus action, he's going to make another attack uh, on uh, Mag uh, not Magnus on Alum. Easy mistake to make uh, with his spiritual weapon. Uh, that is a Failure. eighteen. No, not eighteen. A twenty-four to hit. So that hits. Uh, also Whatever damage you're gonna do, I'm just gonna die. So you won't die. Well, not die, isn't that? I'll just uh, I'll ragdoll physics. <laughs> All right, that is a. Uh, what is his spellcasting modifier? Wisdom. Uh, so Adam's so that down. Is Seven damage. Adam's down. As you get blue shelled. You do that whole like flip up into the air and then crash back down. No, I just my knees out. buckle and I and um No, I the blue back. shell always goes after the car in first place. Alright, so it's the Chimera's turn. It's now not being pinned by a mammoth, fortunately. Chimera these nuts. Uh let's Roll to see if it gets its breath weapon back. That's a one, so it does not. Um, it sees that Alum has just gone down, and Bam is also down. Looks over at Kroll. Kroll gestures over to the others on the war machine, or the dragon on the war machine. And if it's going to fly over to the war machine. Um, gets about halfway there, and Kroll just kind of shouts after it, "Look for survivors!" Uh, and that is going to be the Chimera's turn. Uh, Alum, you're unconscious. You don't need to make death saves. Sneak, you're unconscious. You don't need to make death saves. Bam, you're unconscious. Oh, thank... You don't need to make death saves. Thank God for <laughs> Snake's fucking wish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We would have at least so lost one was... person. Oh, and I skipped Ephraim. It's Ephraim. You did. Side, sorry. <laughs> oh, fine. It's because okay, cool. I put you into the side of the initiative because there wasn't room to slot you in, so I, I, I didn't see it. So I do apologise. But it's um, your turn now. How? So, can I squeeze out of underneath this dragon's ass? Um, there is. Okay, so the dragon's butthole is exactly lined up with the <laughs> hole in the war machine. Just like a cat. But can I see the level where like the top of the war machine so like can i still see yeah, yeah, yeah. On the top? cool i'm gonna face step out um and just teleport to a place on top yeah sure cool. you can do that I'll, I'll say there's like enough of a gap with marusa propping it up a little bit that you can do that yeah as long as i can see then i can just appear on the deck anyway yeah, that's fine yeah uh, so you're back up on the deck there's there's a little bit of space where the dragon isn't Yay. Um, how far away is 
Krull and his little crony from me. Uh, I think we said they were about 140 feet away. Cool. Um, <clears throat> Let's say 120. 120. Right. Um, I am going to... Can I get off of the war machine and approach them? Yeah, you can hop down. Um, what was it? It's bonus action, Misty Step, isn't it? Uh, it's not Misty Step, or it's like step. Bay Step, Sorry. yeah. Bay step. yeah. Is it a yeah. bonus action? Yeah, it's bonus action. action. If you wanted to. I don't want to. I'm just going to okay. use my movement. About 20 foot away from the war machine, if it takes you about 10 foot of movement to get down from it. Okay, cool. So 100 feet away from them? Yep. Cool. Um, and then, who looks the most ill or, like, weak out of the Chimera and Krull? Definitely the Chimera, which is currently flying towards you. Well, Chimera it is. I'm going to chill touch that bitch. Um, oh, fuck that shit. I guess I'll roll a d6 as well. Oh, do I think a 19 could possibly hit? Probably not. Well, does a 19 hit? Uh, it does, yeah. Cool. That inspiration was useful. Uh, and that is your inspiration. Uh, a four six. So you would have got a thirteen before. Yeah. That, yep. Which yeah. Which yeah. Think. No, that wouldn't have hit. Yeah. So you I was would, like. Yeah. Uh, so that is twelve points of uh, necrotic damage to it. Ooh. Nearly. It's very much. It, it's kind of like. <clears throat> You hit it and it starts kind of its wing kind of buckles and it starts to fall down to the ground. But it is still alive as much as you can tell. How much can we bundle Marusa? <laughs> uh and that is everything that I'm gonna do, because I'm pretty sure that trading in spells and stuff is bonus the actions. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, cool. so Skip and sneak and bam, uh, back up to Magnus. You are in a hole in the war machine with a dragon hole above you. Where are we at? Where? Holy. Yes. And it's a dragon butt hole above you. It's not just a normal hole, Lewis. Well, that's Jesus. exciting. Yep, and it's your turn. Can I loot the butt? No, I'm joking. <laughs> this isn't South Park. You can't get a shit nugget to throw at someone. I don't want... No, because dragons don't poop. They're filled with magical things. Yeah, like unicorns. Yeah, it's true. Could you imagine? Loot. Oh, I'd actually die. Um... <laughs> like pinatas, you kill them and loot them out. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, now, when you say above me, do you mean on top of me or above me? Um, you're in it's not hole. like, yes, yeah, so you're in oh. like a little sort of chest size compartment, which is kind of like a little smuggling compartment in the war machine. And oh. then like on top of that, acting as almost like a lid is the dragon. <laughs> the dragon is probably not nice. Right. Um, <laughs> I mean, do I want to get out? If you're happy where you are, you can stay where you are. Although when the decomposition kicks in, it's not going to be pretty where you are. <laughs> That's quite funny. It's entirely up. I'll to try. You. I'll try and. I'll try and get out. All right. Uh, so I'll just call that an athletics check to try and squeeze out. <laughs> oh my gosh! He's not an old man. He hasn't had an uneventful life already. Uh, oh, check. <laughs> 25? Yeah, I'll say that's enough. You managed to go out okay, yeah. through the back. Who um, remembers that one time I crawled out past the dragon's rusty sheriff's badge? No. That's the dragon's taint. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's the dragon's chocolate starfish. <laughs> uh. I'm sure there's a D&D &D equivalent. Please stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pass the dragon's rope. You account as dwindled. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, uh, you you managed to crawl out uh, through like the sort of tail end. You kind of lift the tail up and crawl out from under it. Mm -hmm. uh, you are on the deck of the war machine. We'll say like does... opposite the helm. Yeah. What does Magnus see from this angle? Uh, you see a chimera which is kind of crashing to the ground, coming towards uh -huh. the war machine. Uh, that is about 60 foot away. No longer haha. -ha. And about 120 foot past that, you see a total standing over Alum and Bam's unmoving forms. Right. Okay. You do not see a mammoth. Oh. Uh, you also see a maruza who is trapped under one of the legs. Oh, can I go over to Marusa? Oh, and there's a there's a sneak who is also not moving on the ground somewhere. Oh god! Oh my god! Can Gosh. I go over to Maruza? Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I don't know if I'm allowed to. If I've already done something for my turn, but can I maybe try and help Maruza get out? I'll say you can do that. We'll call it if it was your action to get out from under the dragon. We'll call it your bonus action to try and like help Maruza. Okay, so what would I do for this? Um, we'll we'll call it we'll call it a help action, and then okay. if Maruza tries to do something next turn, you can help him do that to give him advantage. Sound oh, good? Okay. Or would yeah, you no, rather try and do that's, something that's, a bit no, more that's active? Cool. No, I like that. Okay, that's cool. Perfect. So that's your turn. Yeah. All right, truffles. You're in the realm of Celestia. Truffles is going to stick her trunk in the holy water. <laughs> okay. And slurp. Okay. You pull a whole bunch of water into your trunk. And then wait until she gets out. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Hang on. If she gets out. Because if we don't hit Kroll, Troubles is staying there. <laughs> But how can we? All right, half so the party are a million miles away. An Asian elephant can hold up to eight point five liters of water in his trunk. So I'm going to say that Truffles has got eight point five liters of water. That's a lot of water in, the, in her trunk currently. Holy water! Uh, is that all Truffles is doing? Truffles is going to get the super soaker of a fucking lifetime. <laughs> 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 yep. Okay, cool. Um, next up is Maruza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, try and pull myself free. Okay. Uh, so that'll be an wiggle, athletics wiggle. check, and wiggle. you have advantage because uh, Magnus is helping you by, I don't know, pulling on your arms or something. Uh, in classic Ellie fashion, I rolled the same number twice. Um. What was the number? 19. Okay, I'll say that's enough. <laughs> uh, so, yep, uh, with Magnus' help, you managed to uh, get out from underneath uh, the dragon. I suppose this makes us even. I'll say that cost either your bonus action or your action. Oh, I get a nice little joy. Wonderful. Yep. So there's this, this chimera hurdling towards us. Uh, yeah, it was hurtling towards you, and now it's kind of crashing to the, to the ground. It'll probably Is land it... about 30 foot away from you. Does it look like it's out cold? No, it's still... His eyes are open, all six of them. Alright. I'm gonna dash over to the, um... To the fucking driver's seat. Alright, you get over to the helm. You kind of have to push your dragon claw off of it. <laughs> uh, and I thought I needed a pedicure. A... <laughs> uh, give me a, I don't know, um, perception check. Relying on wisdom. No, which sense? <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> sight. All right, disadvantage on that. Uh, not terrible. Uh, 
11? Could have done worse. Uh, yeah, seems fine. Cool. Uh, I'm going to... Well, it is still pouring out smoke, by the way. What is? From uh, the helm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ain't really got much of a choice right now. Uh, I'm going to shove some demon icor into it. Nice. I have one more vial of. And uh, okay. attempt to move it as quick as uh, possible. Well, um, putting the demon icor in would be a bonus action. All right, I'm not so you do can that. put it in ready to use it the next turn. No, I'm just gonna go. Just gonna just gonna start moving. Okay, so you're gonna use the drive action to turn the vehicle on. Um, Bam, how do I dri drive loosely? Bam. Okay, here's the thing. It is a bonus action to turn the engine on. Okay. So you can either turn the engine on, mm -hmm. put the demon eye core in, mm -hmm. or use an action. You won't be able to move it as well as turn it on. Huh. That sucks. So That's... if you had both your bonus action and your action, you mm -hmm. could turn it on and move it, but you've only got one. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, well, I feel like I feel like getting it moving as soon as possible is the best option here. So I'm going to turn the engine on. Yeah. Okay. The engine rumbles into life. You manage to kind of find the uh, the the on button. Um. And it yeah, it rumbles to life. It sounds a little bit more spluttery than it usually does. Uh, you assume due to the the mishap that occurred, which is still. Uh, the smoke's not as thick now, but there is still some smoke seeping out of the, the helm console. I wipe it away. Uh, like, do that thing that non-smokers do when someone smokes around them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. That's Fran all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, uh, that is Maruza's turn, I'm guessing. Sure. All right. Uh, I think at this point we will take a quick break. Wonderful. Ooh. Stay okay, with okay. us after these messages. Or more rises mm -hmm. the infernal lords. Hello there, everybody.
everybody. Hello there, everybody. Hello there, everybody. Hello there, everybody.
reporter. Uh, so we're back into the fray of the fight as we move over to Kroll's turn. Mm. Kroll stands over the unconscious bodies of Bam and Alum and he raises his huge maul. Oh God. And brings it down directly oh on Alan's head. No. No. Oh, phew. He, for he forgot I banished. No. no. <laughs> uh, but as his hammer, as his maul is about to hit the helmet of Alan. The helm, if you will. A glowing, <laughs> the helm of Alan. <laughs> a glowing green almost force field appears and rebounds them all. Ooh. This is where the theme song starts playing. Is this friendship? No, this is Klasia. <laughs> now this is the uh No, this is Patrick. <laughs> this is your name. What was it? This is the over fifty planner. <laughs> <laughs> um as uh, Alum is prevented from dying <gasps> by Sneak's wish. Oh no! I'm going to cry. I don't even know what's going on. Well, yeah, because you're unconscious. Yeah. Easy, 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 easy. Yeah. yeah easy, you, easy. you don't know this. Um, all right, that was his action, so he can't really do much else. Uh, He's gonna he'll dismiss his um his spiritual weapon. Uh can he do what I think he can do? No, he cannot. Okay, that's fine. Uh alright, that's his turn. As he attempts to smush Alan, but is unsuccessful. All right, so next up is the Chimera, who's going to keep um, keep attempting to fly, but uh, is slowly failing. Crashes to the ground about 30 feet. Uh, how far did you say you moved forward? Uh, uh, I moved... I was 100 feet away from him. No, you, uh, you were 100 feet away from Kroll. Oh, were they not the same place? No, the Chimera was already flying towards the war machine at that point. Oh. So he lands about 10 foot away from you. That's lucky. Okay. Uh, and you think it's unconscious. And then its dragon head looks up. Oh, and I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. That is a 17. All right, that succeeds. You don't have evasion, do you? I I don't know what that is. But I do take I do have it now because I learned from Maruza in that training <laughs> montage yeah. last week. Yeah, uh, uh Ephraim's actually a from a thing. Last week in the Star Wars game. Yeah, exactly. Knew everything. Uh you take half of 29 which would be 16. Oh yeah. Uh, you take 14 fire damage as it breathe exhales its fire breath at you. Okay. Are you okay? Um, I mean, is, okay is the scale. Hmm. Okay is a scale, and I'm still on that scale right now. Okay. That's yep. Uh, that is its turn. Uh, so we'll go to Alum, 
who's not doing much. Uh, so we go over to Ephraim. Oh, um, I think we have to. So he's ten foot away from me, isn't he? Uh, uh yeah. yeah, currently, and on the ground, his one of his wings seems to be, we'll say, broken. He's such a douche. He's kind of limp. Finish him. Right. Uh, so does a nat 20 hit him? Fucking yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that is a level 2 ice knife. Okay. Um, so that is a d10 first. Uh, right, so let's just roll this underscore because it's easier. So we're just doubling everything, aren't we, effectively? For a nat 20, yeah. Cool. So that's two points of piercing um, damage. If you roll one dice, you can add a maximum of that dice. If you roll multiple dice, you double them. So one d ten, you could add a ten. Oh, okay, cool. So that's eleven points of piercing damage. Yep. And then everyone within five foot of him is going to take two d six of cool damage, is that including him. Uh, yeah. Okay, roll that. Uh, so that's five double to ten, so twenty one points of damage in total. That was eighteen more than you needed. How do you want to do this? Um, I think it's just gonna he's just gonna peer, be pierced by this ice knife and the ice is just gonna cover him slowly and then he explodes. Done. Yeah. Each of the head pops in order. Fatality. Just like Kingsman. <laughs> Fucking sub zero fatality. Yep. Just <laughs> <laughs> Well I've done my bit. <laughs> and I've still got two HP, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that is everything. No, I've got a bonus action. You sure do. Uh, and then with the bonus action, I can make myself some magicy magic. Uh, I will make some sorcery spo- uh, points. So I will take. I will get free sorcery points by getting rid of a third level spell slot. Okay. Cool. Cool. And then Done. you have to use another bonus action to turn them into another spell slot, don't you? I don't want to make them what into can a spell you do slot. That as, oh, you just want to keep it as the points. Fair enough. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, because you can use those for things, can't you? Yeah. Uh, okay, Sneak, we're skipping. Bam, we're skipping. Uh, back up to Magnus. Mm-hmm. Can I... Oh, Snake. Anything to Marusa? Uh, Marisa oh, no. I'm a is. Man, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marisa's at the helm Shame. currently. Okay. Well, I don't know how to use this. If you want to, I would like to do that. Actually, that would be nice. Some father-son bonding time. Looks. Looks right. like... Also, you can use your reaction to move away from the helm if you like, Marisa. Yeah, I'll do that. L- looks okay. like uh, we've we've lost some people, so maybe we need to go back. You look at just the two of you that are on the, <laughs> on the war machine currently. <laughs> Road trip. Oh no, it would be like that. Just the two of us. That clip of that kid running over another kid in their little like electric car thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yep. no. Uh, right. so you, if you would like to control the war machine, yes. You can use your action to drive it. Okay. I'd say you have to use half the movement to turn it in the direction you would like to go. Okay. You can use the full movement if you want to go straight ahead. Um, I would kind of like to move it back to where everybody is. Okay. Uh, so you use half of its movement to turn it, so it's yep. lined. Uh, who do you want to go towards? Sneak or Bam and Alan and Kroll? What about Ephraim? Yeah. Oh, Ephraim's this is only like 20 awkward. foot away from the war machine currently. So you, if you were going towards uh, Bam and Alan, you would go past Ephraim. And then Ephraim could do like a Legolas where he just grabs it and flips up on. Uh, <laughs> Elves, man. Um, <laughs> we can do that. 
Sounds good. I guess. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Okay. I mean, I was, I was joking about Ephraim being able to flip. They they would have to uh, make a check or something to be able to do that. I no, know. I can just flip. I'm fully capable of doing that. You know what? Fuck it. You guys have killed a dragon and the chimera. You can just do a flip. <laughs> Yay! I've always wanted to do a flip. <laughs> flip. <laughs> courtesy flip for the session. Uh, yeah, courtesy flip. Yeah. You guys have had it tough. I will let you have a flip. Thank you. Well, I'm going to take that. I'm going to do a flip uh, okay, and so, land yeah, it. Um, what, is, what is the speed? Yeah, you've earned the flip. <laughs> Uh, the speed is 100 foot. You've used 50 of it to turn around, so you can move 50 foot towards them, which will get you to 70 foot away. And then Ephraim flips up on as you go past them. Oh, and yeah. Kind of bump, bump, as you go over the Chimera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Chimera is now roadkill. <laughs> It's got, it's got two tire marks. We eating well tonight, like... boys. <laughs> it's got like cartoon tire marks going across it now. Looks like Mitch back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, the war machine is on its way. Um, <clears throat> you still have a bonus action, so you can use that to make the war machine dash if you like. Okay. Dashing. Or you could put some demon icor in, or insert a new soul coin, or you could turn off the engine. It's up to you. Those are your choices for bonus actions. Oh, wow. uh, actually, no, no, it's okay. No, actually, don't worry about the actually. There's still some smoke coming out of the console, but it's not too bad currently. Okay. You can see through it, but it is still like hissing and spitting steam at you as you're driving, which is kind of distracting. <laughs> that is uh, would you like distracting. to take any of those bonus actions I described? You want to dash? Yes. Yes. What's up to you? Yes. Yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, so, with your dash, War Machine, you could get up to where Bam, Alum, and Kroll are. Okay. Whilst we're going past. In fact, you... Yeah, do you want to go past, or do you want to stop before you get to them? No, sorry. Or do you want to just crash into all of them? Whilst we're going past, does Maruza see Sneak? Uh, no, hmm. she's kind of off in a different direction. Okay. She's maybe like, how how far could truffles fly in mammoth 100, form? 120 feet. Oh, then she's, call it 80 foot away from this bit. Yep. Okay. Um, ain't, ain't she technically still connected to the machine with the harpoon? What? Oh, no. Sneak gets trapped. Like he harpooned her, and no, the harpoon please. hasn't left her. <laughs> So she might be just at the back getting dragged along. Oh, yeah, I did yeah, do that. Yeah, Sneak's just getting dragged along <laughs> at the back. No, we'll say um, the, the... I can't find the Sneak! Harpoon. We'll say the end of the harpoon broke off as she hit the ground. I think you actually did say that at the time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so she's not attached. Mm. Um, but anyway, yeah, you get to... Okay, so what what are you doing? Are you stopping the machine before you get to them? Yeah. Are you driving past them, no. or are you driving into them? No, oh my God, no. Those are, so you stopped the machine just before? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, fair enough. Uh, how far away would you like to stop? Uh, a, a safe amount of distance away. How many feet? Oh, no. Six feet. Five foot. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's usually in like five foot increments in this Oh, okay. Game. I did not know. And this. you can, if you really want to, you can stop exactly six foot away. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. You are a square and a fifth away from this, <laughs> these people. Excellent. Um, right. Uh, that is Magnus's turn. Uh, 
Oh, truffles, you're still in Celestia. Yep. Cool, just holding that water there. Truffles will just sit down like a heffalump. Truffle. And look around. Truffles is mouth breathing currently. Uh, the elephants can hold their, their trunk breath for quite a while. Oh, you're just holding your breath, okay. Not holding breath, but like, you know. I mean, you've got the water in the trunk itself, so you can yeah. still use your mouth to breathe. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Just looking around, right. sitting on the... Yep. Uh, you see a couple of angels flying by. Just taking in um, the scenery. There's uh, a dog flying a pegasus. What? Um, yeah, it's like a Labrador that's on a pegasus what? just okay. flying by. Wow, I just saw a dog still go to heaven. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Callum, I beat you there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> talking to people who don't go to heaven. Here's Marisa. Oh no! <laughs> don't say that. I don't know. You might still soon. Um, okay. I love how Marisa's the only one that like hasn't gone down in this fight. Uh, true, actually, that's really unusual. Um, <laughs> to be fair, he hasn't been the most active combat this fight either. Um, so. We're how far away from Kroll now? About ten foot from and I, where you are on the And machine. I can assume the white, blue, and red thing on the floor near them is Alum, and the, the purple and blue thing on the floor near him is... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can assume that. You, you know their Ooh. silhouettes well enough. Very cool. Um... <sighs> I'm going to look at Magnus and say, point to this, uh, a sword that he has on his back. Not his <laughs> Holy Avenger, but the Redemption Sword. Lend me that for a moment, if you will. Of course. Now grab it. Mm -hmm. Jump off the... Jump off the uh, war machine. Wait, what's the sword that Marusa's got? That's damnation. Oh, okay. Not redemption. Okay. I feel yeah, like I feel like with names like those, you should be able to attach them both at the hilt and like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, redemption and damnation turn into. That would be a great blade. fucking. Like, that'd be a really great like <laughs> thing for like. Thematically appropriate for Marusa, honestly. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're, they're both themes that are close to his. Marusa mm -hmm. begins to approach Kroll. Well, mm -hmm. um, You're holding, like, one in each hand or something? I can't deal with two-handed swords, dude. That's fucking stupid. Um, I'm just, just a redemption. And uh, it's dragging along in the floor of Avernus. The blade carving a line as Marusa mm -hmm. approaches and says, I should have known all you Chiamat followers are the same. Turns out Bahamut's will might be right after all. As he. We don't speak that name here. Uh, but I think I do. What are you going to do about it? Show boy. Arkhan brought you back into this world, Abishai. I can take you out of it. I never asked to be brought back. And it's a shame that Fair your friend not. Arkhan is gone, because you certainly won't be coming back either. And uh, he grips the great sword mm -hmm. on one of his shoulders. With both hands. Gets yep. towards Kroll, if I can, with my movement. Yeah, 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 close enough to get up to Kroll. And uh, I wait for him to make his move and take the dodge action. <laughs> okay. And that's a little anti but that's, uh, the way that monks, right. that's the way monks do it. <clears throat> Alright, is his turn. Um... Hmm. 
Give me a second. And now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> That's supposed to be the what was I looking up? We'll be right back. Uh, uh, where is it? There we go. Oh my god. Okay, Ooh. I asked Magnus for the Redemption Greatsword because it was symbolic, but um, I forgot it has that special ability. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, where is that one? Con, 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 con. Okay, cool. Let's go with that. All right, so you you see him pull up his gauntleted hand and he touches the top of his maw with it. Seems to kind of channel some kind of energy into it. And then he brings it round and swings it at you, Maruza. Yeah, that's... It didn't look like he was casting a spell to put this energy it in. It did. <gasps> Could I uh, counterspell that? You can try. Cool. Uh, is it a third level or lower? Nope. Cool. Um, so let's make a... What's the DC for me? 10 plus the spells level? Uh, 15. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that is 17. Let's talk and go. All right. The spell does not go through, uh, but the mall still does. Cool. Uh, so is that dodge. disadvantage? Yeah. Yep, that's fine. All right, that is a 18 to hit. Just hits. Okay. Uh, you take 12 bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Reduced and also... by 7 because I'm using my braces. Yeah, okay. Um, and also five necrotic damage. Wonderful. As this mall smacks into you. <laughs> uh, he's also going to bring... Is that really all you've got? You have... I did say that he dispelled his spiritual weapon, didn't I? Yeah, he did. Okay, fine. Yeah, he doesn't this do that. This is what the commander of Tiamat has to show. <laughs> Oh, uh, you... No, you wouldn't see this. Uh, <laughs> I don't Ephraim, see anything. <laughs> you can see behind... <laughs> Ephraim, you can see behind Kroll the sort of cloud. Oh no, this is the first time you've seen it. There yep. is a cloud of Abishai uh, which has been following this chase, which is growing ever closer. Oh, that's it's cool. Maybe about, maybe about a minute away from reaching you guys. Yeah, that's forever in D and D terms. Plenty of time. I know that's forever in combat rounds. We just need to deal with Kroll. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that was Kroll's turn. Uh, Alan is still down, so Ephraim. Oh, uh, I am going to cure wounds on myself at level yeah. three. Very wise. Uh, which is sixteen points of healing, but some other stuff because I am a cool little fella. Well. Not fella. A cool person. Mm -hmm. uh, so I rolled that, which is not good. So I'll re-roll the one that... Uh, let me just do on Discord, because D&D &D Beyond is a joke. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. He's not listening. <laughs> no, he's very uh, really he's snoring right now. It's very cute. <laughs> Right, so that is 24 points of the beautiful healing. Okay, congrats. Are you doing anything else on your turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just the first thing. So that was my final third level spell slot. Uh, and let's quick and spell a lovely um, firebolt against our good friend Krull. Turtle soup for dinner, okay. everyone. <laughs> Does a 
13 hit? Probably not. Uh, 13 does not hit, no. Are you such a loser? Is AC <laughs> higher than 13? I know. How dare this boss person right, just... have an AC higher Once than 13? Once we remove his shell, he'll have a lower AC. Don't worry. That's fair. Wow. We're going to eat him like a oyster. Hey, we gave um, him plenty of fucking chances. Honestly, we, we saved this man. We saved his fucking ass, and he repays Gosh. us with this. He's fucking I... dying brutally. You know he is. You know what I should have done? I should have uh, banished him again. <laughs> that would have been funny. Uh, right, that is everything for Ephraim done. No, because if you would have banished him, then Truffles would stay in Celestia forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, Ephraim's done anyway, so... <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. So you didn't didn't hit with that, did you? Unfortunately, not. All right. Uh, okay. Skipping those two, back up to Magnus. What's the Maggie boy doing? Here's his shell. Magnus. Um, yeah. No, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. That's half the turtles. <laughs> Okay. No, it's up to you. Oh, <laughs> I mean, can I do that? If you want. Mm. It's I up to like... you, though. It's your turn. You can do what you want. I would like to harp in some turtles. All right. You can use uh, the harpoon to attempt to hit Kroll. Uh, give me an attack roll. It's plus seven. Please don't get a nat one and hit snake. Snake's no one. I really, really, really don't want that to happen. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? That'd be a nat, nat, nat one. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get like well, a negative on the roll to do that. That is a 12 to hit. Okay, 12 does not hit, unfortunately. There is another. Didn't think so. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know why. Pew, pew. Oh no! <laughs> in, in my notes, yeah. you got on that one. No, no, no. It's all Fran's fault. She... Yeah, Magnus did get on that one. Oh yeah. All right. The cross, uh, the crossbow bolt, the harpoon looks like it's about to hit Kroll, and then a random gust of wind hits it. <laughs> oh no! And it lands directly between Alan's legs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you you oh, would have felt that. Nah, Marie's is like a fucking Ken doll now. Thanks. <laughs> no, I mean uh, Magnus would have felt that. Oh. Um. Ooh, that one looks better. Um, okay, uh, so that is Magnus' turn. Uh, O2 Truffles, still in Celestia. Yep. Uh, one of the, the koi is tickling your wing as it's kind of in the pool. It's nibbling on one of your feathers. I scoop it up in my wing and I yeet it off the side. <laughs> <laughs> This koi just goes flying off the edge of this sort of floating mountain in uh, mountain in Celestia. Just goes like flying into the abyss. <laughs> you just see one of the passing angels just kind of look down at it and swoop down to try and save it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's Truffles', Truffles adventures for this a, turn. Truffles is throwing a, a tantrum. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Celestia, um, now back to a furnace, uh, Marusa. Marusa will, with one of his hands, um, sort of scratch his face a little, tilt his head to one side. Go, right, mm -hmm. no, it's my turn. Um, and he will attack the crawl. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. With the great sword. Mm, I'm surprised. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking hell. 
Does a 16 hit? Uh, 16 does not hit. Okay. The second attack. Does a natural 20 hit the bastard? Mmm, that does. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so it's 2d6 plus 2, so I'm going to uh, double that dice. Not double the dice, but, you know, double the result. Okay, solidly yep. average. We've got a 3 and a 3, so that makes it a 6 plus 2. Uh, 8 times... Are we taking the bonus into account for the crit or not? Uh, well, What's the bonus from? From my strength. Oh, yeah, you, um, I, don't, I think it's just the dice roll that you double. Okay, that's fine. So it's 6, I think any 12, modifiers 14, 14 modifiers. damage to him. Okay. We'll get a con save from that as well. Okay. Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. Okay, cool. So 13. Well, it's, it's, it's for his concentration on the... On the oh, uh, then he's still concentrating. Cool. Uh, there is another. It's called my kick to his fucking stomach. Eee. That's not good. Uh, three, uh, eleven. Eleven probably don't hit. Nope. Oh well, it was for show. It's all good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Maruza simply says, "Watch yourself." You're outnumbered. I can see that. But I'll soon be the one outnumbering you as he gestures towards the cloud of Abishai coming towards you. So basically, right, this cloud of Abishai, so there's five different colors of Abishai, and they've all kind of like arranged themselves in lines, <laughs> like kind of like curved lines layered on top of one another. Mm -hmm. A rainbow. Yeah, so there, there is a rainbow of Abishai coming towards you currently. Um, has he been? Did he make a con save for his banishment? He didn't do it. Uh, he did. Yeah, he he made it. He saved. Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I only hit him once. So. And is his turn? Uh. Oh damn! He can't do that because that has a casting time of one minute. Long. That's annoying. Um, <laughs> all right, he's just he's just going to try and hit you with his maul again. You. Oh, I forgot to do extra damage to him with my uh, expulsion. Yeah, I'll say you can do that. How much? It's half of it, isn't it, that you can pump back out? Yeah, so it's like it's like free damage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he takes that. Cool. Or he had already taken that rather. Yep. <clears throat> it's like that lasting effect when you punch someone and they don't feel it for a few seconds, and then he does. Does yeah yeah. Uh, does the 12 hit you? No. Okay. Uh, then uh, he's also going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Cool. Uh, which will also attack you. Uh, 16. That doesn't hit either. Cool. That's his turn. He just kind of looks slightly worriedly here at the cloud of Abishai coming... Uh, sorry, the rainbow of Abishai coming towards you all. Uh, Ephraim? Right, let's uh, chill touch so Mr. Kroll. You... Okay. Mm. I was just going to say, you can also still see Alam and Bam, who are both still unconscious nearby you. Yeah, I need to touch them to heal them. Okay. Which is my biggest problem. Are they far? Are they too far away to touch? No, but... You can get if, if you're on the war machine, then they're probably about 15 foot away from you. Oh, uh, right. I will move up to Alan and touch him and cool. heal him for 12 points of healing. 
All right, I'll let you back up. And that's everything nice. I can do. All right. Well, unfortunately, it was just Alum's turn before yours. Wow. Um, so we skip. Uh, sorry, are you doing anything else? No, nope, that's everything. All right, so we skip Sneak and Bam again. Then back up to Magnus. You going to harpoon the turtle again? I would very much like to do that. Okay, give me an attack roll. Get his ass. And don't forget, there is another. Excellent. You know... Thank you. 21 to hit. What were you going to yeah, say? Yeah, that, that'll hit, yeah. What do I know? Nothing, lol. Oh, it doesn't. That's fine, I'll discuss this post-stream. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys, we can get in. We can get in. All right, uh, give me some damage for that, please. D8 plus two. Seven damage. Seven damage. Concentration. He One, takes it. D20 plus seven. 23 to hit. Let's fucking go, Magnus. He's a crack shot with this shit. <laughs> yeah, that is. Is that a crit? No, no, it's not crit, is it? No, 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 no. no. Um, all right, he got a seven for his concentration. So you know what that means. Oh, I yeah. Truffles is so, back, motherfucker! Not yet. Uh, Truffles, you're, you're in Celestia, and you see this angel come up over the edge of the, the sort of <laughs> cliff edge of the mountain with a koi in its hand, and it's sort of flying angrily over towards you. And then you're not in Celestia anymore. <laughs> you're back. Uh, <laughs> you pop into existence, and we're going to say you pop into existence a couple of feet above Kroll's head, <laughs> and then and then you land on him. Can I, can I not do that? Uh, you can fly instead. He's above very him. spiky. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> You'd have a hurty bum bum after that. Uh, yeah, okay, so you, you, you pop into existence and you just manage to catch yourself from falling and you're instead hovering, we'll say, five foot above him. Um, but yes, uh, the, uh, you still got your other damage to do, Magnus. How much was that? 11 damage. Yep, okay, cool. Uh, so he's taken damage, and he's also dropped his concentration. Omelette du damage. <laughs> so, uh, it is Truffles' turn. Truffles is going to look around, realise where she is, and be so astonished that she does a spit take directly downward <laughs> onto Crawl. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, 8.5 litres of holy water. Yep. Uh, that sounds like something that'd be on one of those poorly translated shirts. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't seem to do anything to him. It's a lot of water, though. It is a lot of water, but he is an amphibian, so. Yeah, but surely, like, the strength of the blast would probably. Wait, no, be... sorry. He's a reptile? Tell. So... Turtles are reptile, I think. Okay, then he's a reptile. Let me double check. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're reptiles because they're in the same as like crocodiles. Yeah, they're in aren't the they? sea, aren't they? Like... No, but he, he's more of a tortoise than a turtle. Oh, then he's a reptile. A reptile what? dysfunction. Uh, yeah, okay. Let, let's say he takes 3d6 damage from being water pistoled. From, from being, um, christened. <laughs> he's got super soaked. Christened. <laughs> yeah, he's baptized now in waters from Celestia itself. Uh, yeah, just, just give me 3d6 damage. We'll call it radiant damage Fuck. because it is like magic water. There we go. One I mean, and what are the chances of that ever happening again? One, five, three is. Nine. 
Nine. Alright, he takes nine holy water damage. Cool. He feels slightly less evil now. He's now lawful neutral. How do you feel? Uh, okay, so that is Truffles' turn. Mm. Okay, uh, Marisa. Marisa looks up to the giant yellow blur that is above him that has just covered this <laughs> fucking thing in water. Yes, yeah, some of it went on Marisa as well. Ooh. Does that interact with my demon body somehow? Devil body. So you take half of the damage you rolled. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have said nothing. How much was that? I forgot. Nine, four, four. Nine, so you take four. Ooh, getting further and further closer to death. Let's go. <laughs> I would have cracked up if you said Marusa was down from that. Ah, oh, no. I, maybe my plan is to go down. Yeah. Are you, you feel it sting on your Abishai skin. He grits his teeth and... <sighs> Oh, yes, I remember what this feels like. Uh, and he takes a fucking swing at Krull. Okay. 21? 21? Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, 9? Damage? Yeah, he and takes that. the second attack... Ooh, that's a bit better. That's a 25. Nope. Yeah, that's 24. And that's another 8 damage. Okay. Oh, wait, hold he's on. Still up. He's, he's looking one. bloodied now. There's a, there's a kick. There's a kick. Okay. Oof. That's going to hit him. That's a 8 plus stuff. Uh, 18 plus stuff, Rama. I was going to say 8 plus stuff might not hit him. And that's a minimum damage for a swapping five damage. Um, okay, uh, that's good. It's now ending in a zero, which makes it easier for me. Right. Um, Next up. Mm -hmm. All right, is that your turn? Mm, yes. All right. He's still up, unfortunately, but he is looking bloodied now. It's time for him to kick him in the groin. Uh, it is his turn. Damn it. Uh, so... What does that one do? I really need to, like, get all the spells on a sheet of paper or something. It's all right, so you won't be using them <laughs> I know. Uh, hmm. Okay. Um, you see him kind of channel some energy into himself. And uh, he seems a little bit tougher. Uh, his shells. He uses Harden. Bastard. Um, which is his action, and then with his bonus action, he's going to attempt to hit you with his spiritual weapon again. Let's fucking go. Uh, which is 19 to hit. I do hit. Uh, and that is... 9, no, sorry, 5 bludgeoning damage. Reducing, force damage reducing by that weapon. by 5. Okay. That's fine. Uh, that is his turn. Uh, so we're over to Alum. Wait, you didn't you hit me? You are newly back on... Um, he didn't try and... No, he did. Oh, okay. He did hit you, and you reduced the damage. Oh, oh yeah, because he used his action to harden. So no what's, what's around yeah. me? Uh, so you're you're on the floor. Uh, you've just been brought back to consciousness uh, by Ephraim, but you, I guess you wouldn't know that. Uh, you see Maruza is stood next to you fighting Kroll. Uh, there's dead Chimera nearby. And you can kind of hazily see uh, a dead dragon on top of the war machine. Mm. Mm, fantastic. 
uh, as it hasn't fallen off even though they drove it over here. Uh, it's still on top. How's Crow looking? Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. Yeah, how's Crow looking? Uh, he's looking blooded. He's looking uh, like uh, there's some chips off of his shell. Uh, mm, he's he's not looking good. Hmm. Should call a glass about that. <laughs> um, I'll hit him with a <laughs> guiding bolt. Yeah, you can guide him bolt. Roll to hit. Guiding bolt. Guide him bolt. Here we go. That's a twenty-seven. Ooh, that hits. Boy. That was almost that a deep end. No, no, it was almost. Oops, uh, it's twenty-seven damage. Very well rounded. Yeah, uh, he do take that. Cool. He's still up. Just does it matter if it's radiant? Uh. No, he doesn't have any vulnerabilities, so. unfortunately. Cool. So, just remember you get advantage if you spank him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is lit up like a Christmas tree. Boop, boop. I don't think Magnus needs it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always good to have. Uh, well, well, it is Ephraim first. Oh, it's Ephraim. And that is... Yeah, I'll just kind of bring myself up to my knee and, like, stand up. Yeah, yeah. You can use half your movement to get up from being prone. Cool. Right, yep, that's me done. All right, Ephraim. Place where I could get him in a 15 foot cone and it wouldn't hit Marusa or Alum. No, it just hit me, it's fine. The question does still stand, though. <laughs> I'm going to say it would be very tough to get an angle where you wouldn't hit someone else. Fine. Because Truffles is hovering above him as well. Don't worry, just get this heaven. Okay, cool. Uh, can he give, give me... Give well, me, give, mm. give me a... Uh... Wisdom. Give me an A. Yeah, yeah, let's just call it a wisdom check to see if you can line up the shot very well. A flaccid 20. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you managed to line it up. Just cool. You managed to find the sweet spot where you won't hit anyone else. Could Big Turtle Boy give me a deck save? <laughs> Sure thing. Uh, he's good at those. Well, I figure he's like, boosted his armor with like mage armor, so you know. Uh, that is a six. Well, he fails, uh, so he takes 3d6 of fire damage, which is 13 points. 13 points? Yep. How do you want to do this? Um, instead of him uh, spinning into fire this time, you just see him just sizzle up with these flames and just leaves his skeleton. Oh, <laughs> no. It's dry. It's dry Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You turn him from Bowser into dry Bowser. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Kind of <laughs> Ephraim stands up and everything explodes. As... <laughs> <laughs> we should probably drive, like, real quick. Um, yeah, uh, let me just describe this. So, yeah, you... you uh, what was the spell? Uh, just Burning Hands. Okay, just Burning Hands. Literally, yeah. level one spell. Yeah, uh, I mean, that was all you needed to finish him off. Um... So yeah, you just kind of you, you burn him with your hands and his dry old turtle skin just goes up like kindling. And uh he he it it's it's over before he knows it. Like he doesn't even have time to scream as the you know that bit in Judgment Day where like she's against the fence and the atomic blast just like rips the flesh off her bones. Yeah. Like that. Um he just, yeah, he just gets stripped away to his bones and his maul and his gauntlet fall to the floor uh, and his skeleton still attached to his shell just dunks to the ground. You guys have about a minute now as you're out of initiative before these Abishai reach you. Right, we should probably get sneak on here and then get out of here. <laughs> yep. So, uh, Bam is still unconscious. Kroll didn't uh, like go back to his home plane. He straight up is dead. 
is seemingly how it was described. Well. All right, then the skeleton disintegrates in the shell. Damn it. But the mole and the gauntlet are still there. Uh, I pick up Bam if I can. I can cure wounds on Bam. Um, Marisa is looking pretty fucking wildin' as well. Um, uh, so 18 points to Bam. Oh, there we go. Don't have to pick him up no more. Yeah. I and then once we're driving... I enjoyed the game. Oh, heal. Oh my god, I get to play the game! Wait, well, it's almost finished. Heal Fran, Damn it! <laughs> I put wounds on Marisa. <laughs> Uh, wait, where, 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 where's Nuke? Did you say I have 15? Uh, 18. Well, Rosa gets 18. 21. Hell, uh, 21. We need, we need, uh, we need to drive. <laughs> Step on okay, it. Bu- oh, what yeah, the I can, hell happened to my machine? Uh, I can get my motorbike. <laughs> Why is there a hole here? Bam. What's that? Oh, that's a dragon. Bam, take this. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's also a dragon on the, on the thing. I, um, I give Bam yeah, the demon icon. There's icle. only uh, you know what, there's space for about three of you on it currently with the uh, with the dragon there. Wait, Wait, you the dra- dragon. Get the dragon off! I thought with the amount of time I was unconscious, you would have got it off from when it landed earlier. Don't worry, someone can know. <laughs> we don't want to get off the dragon. Oh no. <laughs> Not realizing this is the second time the dragon landed on the goddamn yeah, 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 ship. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Don't worry, you can get on from my back. I would like to cast Wall of Stone to essentially go and then knock the dragon off. Yeah, we'll <laughs> say you can. We'll say you make a nice ramp with the Wall of Stone underneath the dragon, and it just kind of rolls off the machine. And then you dispel it so you don't have stone on your machine anymore. Come, can and I? Now you right. get to make a ramp. Marisa will take Kroll's shit and run back onto the war machine. Yeah, sure. You, you grab the maul and uh, the gauntlet. Wait a minute. Marisa, you're still up. Don't question. Honestly, <laughs> I got very close there. Wait, but I, I'm still alive. <laughs> I asked how I already survived because one of my friends sacrificed something in themselves. Oh yeah. Well, Snake. I think that was me. Yeah, but you you're not down. You're not dead. Nope, I'm still good. Anyway, yeah, I put sure demon eye core in uh twenty seconds away. <laughs> right. Is everyone 19, on? Um, Hurry up. 18. Wait, uh, elephant, Get on. elephant thing, where's, oh, where's Sneak? I've, turned, I've turned on the engine. Bam, where's Sneak? Yeah. I don't know where Sneak I've been before. unconscious this entire time. Yeah, um you you would Remember where Sneak fell. Um, so at least oh yeah, last time I saw her, she was falling from the sky. <laughs> I was going to feather fall, but then this cloud appeared. She not look good. Yeah, you, you kind of look over um, as you're driving towards uh, Sneak, and she's just flat on the ground. One of her horns has snapped off. It's kind of impaled in the ground. A, oh my god, she's been yumped. Away. Um, one of her legs is bent at like an unnatural angle. Uh, she's got blood coming out of her mouth. Um, Rufus is laying on the ground next to her. Uh, her tail is like snapped. It's all good. Um, Literally, get her back on the machine. Cure wounds. Right as rain. I hmm. um, if if she's not already dead, then. Guys, ten seconds now. Can you please mm. get? You start <laughs> driving. I am driving. I'm right next to her. I'm waiting for someone to. <laughs> I mean, surely one of our muscly people would be pulling them up because you know. Truff- we- Truffles has got her. Truffles has got her. Truffles just grabs her by the trunk and pulls her up. Oh. And Rufus. And Rufus. And Rufus. Nah, Rufus no. Can- fuck the edible. It will distract them. Go. <laughs> no, no, fuck Truffles the can get both. It's fine. She's a big mammoth right now. Yep. Uh, so you plonk both uh, the unconscious forms of Rufus and Sneak onto the war machine. Um, should we say Alam and Magnus jumped on their war machine? That's, or did you yeah, all jump yeah. on the big one? That is what they said, yeah. No, we got an up Yeah, thing. okay, cool. <laughs> all right, and then you start driving. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'll um, get, hopefully, get some, like, signal 
um, Truffles to come to the war machine so that I can heal Sneak. Yeah, yeah, she's already, Sneak's already on the war machine. Cool. I will cure wound Sneak. Uh, uh, so uh, Sneak... Uh, are you sure you want to do that, Ephraim? Yep. Because as soon as she wakes up, she's going to be in a fucking load of pain. That's fine, I'll cure wounds her three times. <laughs> um, so, just give me a second and I'll I'll try to like bend her leg in the right direction. Like snap it back. Oh so that, yeah. so that it can regrow better. Yeah, okay, you do this while she's unconscious so she doesn't feel it. That would that would not be fun. <laughs> Yeah. Depends who it's for, really. Um, nobody grabbed the, the snapped-off bit of her horn, did no. they? Nope. Okay. Cause no! Because this is a cool I should have grabbed the turtle, though. though. <laughs> also, uh, the turtle disappeared. Um, no, I meant the shell. Grab. Shell disappeared, too. I've Damn got, it! I've got his braces That was going to fill up the hole. He didn't just appear in his home plane without a shell. That would be pretty fucked up, because all his guts are in there. Yeah. yeah, not our problem. True. He, <laughs> he betrayed us. He deserves to have his guts on the floor. That man ate some fucking humble pie real quick, didn't he? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, okay. And <laughs> you know what the best bit is? What? He's just returned to his home plane where Arkhan is. Oh, yeah. Arkhan's going to kill that man. He's dead. And he's used all his <laughs> spell slots, twat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, so you, you managed to set. Uh, okay, give me a medicine check to see how well you set Sneak's leg. Ready, work. I feel like this is the sort of thing that Bruce has done before, so. I still want a medicine check. That's an 11. <laughs> it looks good. It looks set. <laughs> it's like Adam's tail, but worse. Uh, what about a tail? Because the tail's also, like, snapped. Uh, could I help with that and do a medicine on the tail? Yeah, go on. You can you can set that while Marisa sets the leg. It's barely better. It's just a twelve. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. never really paid attention to sneak if I'm honest. You, yeah, um, her as far as you know, her her tail has always been cold around like pigs. Arguably, yes, right. <laughs> no, uh, you, you managed to set it. Oh, pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Um, are you going to do your cure wounds now? Yeah, so that was nine points of healing. What, from all three? No, 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 for the first one. Oh, okay. Uh, and yes. then it's another six, so that's uh, okay. 15. And then the final one is another six, so 21. There you go. Anyway. I'm right. done. Sneak I've spent every back. resource I have. Same. Sneak comes back into consciousness, and as Marisa said, you are just in excruciating pain. Like your insides are burning in pain, uh, all your joints, uh, like just excruciating. Uh, you you open your eyes and you just kind of like wipe blood from one of them, as even your eyes were bleeding from the impact. Um, Done. And you just you just wake up screaming from the pain. What um to sneak do anything else, Fran? No. She's just gonna lay there. <laughs> She's just home alone you, screaming. You you lay back down and you see Rufus unmoving next to you. Oh, yeah, I didn't heal him. Huh. Can I try uh. I, I, I'm, I'm a doctor, not a vet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor, Snap not an infernal war well. machine scientist. <laughs> I was just going to reach a hand out to touch this. He's dead. I'm joking. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be... I can't breathing. tell if this smell is just the skunk normally or <laughs> the cake. Could also be the hell that we live in. Or at least you think she's not breathing, and then you feel like the slightest rise and fall of her little skunk chest. Get it. Does anything from Rufus look fucked up? Uh, the tail has been broken. Oh, 
can I... like, it's hard it's hard to tell because it's like a really bushy tail but it does seem if to i'm be being like honest with the that. amount of shit we've went through the fact that it's just his tail is <laughs> can i try and absolutely amazing can i try and you know snap the tail Off back the in the place Uh, you see Marusa going to to handle Rufus. What does Sneak do? Uh, I'm just reaching my hand out and stroking Rufus. This is okay. for her own good. It's not going to be pretty. It's a 23 on the medicine check. Yeah, you 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 set that a lot better than you set sneaks. Like maybe I should have been a bit. <laughs> mm. Um, yeah, it looks a bit like it, it would heal. Connects together like mega to heal. Um, yeah, it kind of like pops back into place. It was dislocated more than anything. Sneak. Yes. Open your mouth. No. Please. Snake will open her mouth. You open your mouth. It and looks like, like an blood effort. Just pulls out. Um. One, you know, you've got like sort of almost like fanged teeth, like canines. Um, one of them has chipped off. Oh God! So you've now got a tooth missing in the front. Um. Gonna pull out a rag that I have that is in my inventory for some reason. Sure. And I'm going to rip off a piece and I'm gonna like put pressure on the bleeding to try and stop it. Yeah, I mean, it stopped bleeding now from the cure wounds. There was just still blood in her mouth. Okay. In which case, I'll soak up the blood with a rag. Yeah, fair enough. Um, uh, you are as the as the war machine moves. You are getting further away from the uh, the Abishai, who seem to have kind of stopped chasing you now. Uh, they seem to be above the area that you just left. Uh, and they have seen the dead dragon and the dead Chimera. Uh, I want to. Apologize to everyone. This was a terrible idea. I mean, it wasn't that terrible because we're all here and we do have what we wanted. So, you know, it's done. We don't have what we want. We, don't, we have the vial, right? Yeah, so no, it's smashed. No, I've got it. I've definitely got it. I, 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 you, you dropped it, and then I caught it. It's fine. I've got it. I'm getting too old. Yeah, that it's... happened. I think, didn't it? It did. I rolled a deck save to try and grab it. Got it. Yeah. Well, whatever we're doing, we need to find a pitch, a shop to fix this thing. We need to find. I can't actually see through this windscreen. It's been smashed twice and there's blood Could everywhere. I pull out the um, Dowling rod thing? You know, the things we've got that tell us where the Wandering Emporium is? Yeah. Yeah, you can I, do that. We will never I fucking leave out? the Wandering Emporium. <laughs> 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 All roads lead there uh, for another football match. Um, yeah, so I'll pull those out so that we can. Because we know that's safe and we don't know how to get from to Maggie's from here. Well, actually, but we probably yeah. do. Um, but the Wandering um, Emporium is ideal. Malden Canaan's isn't too far away. And we do need to go back there to give him the vial of blood, so... Doesn't his place come and go, though? Am I wrong about that? I mean, it might not be there, but you could assume that he's probably stayed there after giving you a quest. He probably has some comfy beds for Sneak to rest up in, too. Yeah, cool. Let's go to Malden Canaan. <laughs> Screw the Wandering Emporium. I mean, it's up to you. You can go <laughs> wherever you want, but... Uh, yeah. Zariel, let's go. We're in the right frame of mind. Let's do it. <laughs> end game. Skip to the end game. Just like 
run straight to Calamity Ganon. It's the only way to play that game, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I'll... Morden Kanan is the right place, I think. Yeah. Mm. He's, a, he's a planeswalker, you know? He is. Mm. Wow. wow. Think, thinks he's it's cool now. have a card I can't be bothered to use. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, we're like, all oh, planeswalkers because we all came from the material plane. Except for drop yeah. is from Celestia, but the point still stands. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a time skip here, and um, you drive unless you would like to stop anywhere on the way. No, so this is an anime time skip. Yep, fair enough. Okay, so it it takes you a different amount of time than it took you to get to where you went to from Molding Canons as the land is always shifting and time always seems a bit askew in Avernus. Uh, but you do eventually see uh, Morden Kanan's tower looming on the on the horizon. It seems to still be uh, in its uh, docking clamps in Avernus. Um, and you drive up um Arriving at the outside, there don't seem to be any. Uh, what did I say they were called? Ugaloths. Yeah. Uh, there's no Ugaloths uh, waiting outside as there were before. Seems to be fairly empty. And uh, you, you drive up, and again, that there is no, uh, no door. Uh, it's just kind of like a an empty base around the bottom, uh, with the balcony at the top that you saw him emerge from before. Or rather, his simulacrum. So you pull the war machine up. And it is parked. What would you like to do? Long rest. Just on the war machine, outside the tower? It is what it is. I carry sneak in. Yeah, sneak. At every step Marusa takes, your leg kind of kills from the the sort of impact of the step, however small it is. I'm sorry. Just trying Are the rest of you approaching? We're first. Uh, yeah, I'll follow as well. Uh, I'm going to stay in the machine to spectate damage. Someone bring the skunk! I'll carry Rufus. Thank you. In, in my hair. It's like a flower garden. Um, yeah, so you get up to the base of the tower and a door appears. And uh, written on the door it says it's closing time for the Mystic Tavern. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it there for tonight. I think that's a good place to end it. Yeah. That's fair. Uh-oh. Snake's gonna I be am out of commission sorry, for a all bit. of all of you who are unconscious that you didn't get to play much in that session. It's all right, Lewis. Um, it's okay. It happened. We didn't yeah, die. Just playing. Uh, tune in next week on Wednesday for Star Wars. You're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, no. We've got Tuesday before oh, then. Sorry. Yeah. Wait, there's a Tuesday, and also. <laughs> Yeah, well, what's on Tuesday? Well, what's on Tuesday is we're in, we're all depressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very depressing D and D week, it seems. I have to face the consequences of my actions on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we had a bit of a fall in hell. Narf had a bit of a mind break situation. Uh, yeah, so join us for. In player conflict. I mean, in party conflict, yep. Um, and then on Wednesday, like Lewis just said, we got Star Wars, which is a good good load of campy, campy fun. Mm-hmm. Um, Still in the Jedi Temple. As Star Wars should be. I feel like some people take it too seriously. Yeah. yeah that's, that's the fun campaign. This is the serious one with Dragon Ball Holes. Um, Obviously, so this is the Guardians of the Galaxy, whereas uh, Star Wars is the Spaceballs. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a good way. Of Wait, you take Guardians of the Galaxy seriously? No, no, it's just... Guardians of the Galaxy is not serious. But it's more serious than Spaceballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's levels of comedy. Um, yeah, uh, join us for that. I'm sure it'll be a great load of fun, as usual. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Additionally, cheers for yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, and cheers for the extra sub we got during the yeah, game. Yeah, very helpful. Um. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. And remember, uh, 8.75 gallons of water and, and uh, the Asian elephant can hold in its trunk. <laughs> oh, I remember the day. Was it, was it that much? Was, was it right? It was 8.5, but yeah. 8.5. 8.5 liters. Close enough. Yeah. Pretty cool. Depends on the elephant. Yeah. Pretty cool. Bye. <laughs> Uh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>